Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your tent and lay out all the stuff where you think you want everything. Where you're going to want your wood stove, where you're going to want to sit and enjoy your fire, where you're going to lay down. As you can tell, there's still a lot of room in here for other stuff. But this is just about where I want the chimney pipe to exit. And this, as you can see, the stove jack's just sitting there temporarily. I'm going to trace out the area with a pencil. So this is another amazing feature of why I love this tent, the canvas bell tent. Um, you could roll up the walls, unzip the floor, and it turns into a giant sun canopy awning type of tent. And there's these toggles at every, every section all the way around. And you just simply roll it up and toggle it in, and that's it. And okay, so now you're going to trace out everything, like I said, exactly where you want this. And I traced the borders of the canvas material. You're going to trim out the center or cut it out. I used the razor blade. Please forgive my terrible one-handed camera skills. This is pretty difficult. And once this section has been removed, cut right out with a razor, nice clean cut. You're going to take that special tear mender adhesive and you want to actually apply it very, very generously on both sides of the canvas. And now that it has glued and the glue has dried and is all settled, um, it is cured overnight. My stove jack has been set. I actually took the time to stitch with the hand stitching awl. This is a hand stitching all. And I stitched all the way around the edging of the stove jack. I think I'm going to put maybe some more Velcro, but I stitched all the way around the border. And that is it. Stove jack is completely installed and now we'll be on here for the lifetime of this tent. And being a really good high quality canvas tent, it should last a lifetime. And of course, just checking on stitching area and seams to make sure there's no leaks will uh, have to be done. So I now need the leg extensions for my wood stove. As you can see, this tent looks ginormous and empty. But I'm waiting on my leg extensions so I could actually do an excellent uh, burn-in test on the stove in this tent. Um, it is just too close to this type of floor. And here you could see my stitching and the seams. It's a little hard to tell, but not bad for one of my uh, first times doing a canvas stove jack install. And I'm extremely pleased with it.